The president asked me to speak to the press, and I did. Former militant leader Asai Dukombo reaffirms his allegation to so of soldiers being behind oil bunkering in Niger Delta. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for tuning in and listening to this channel that we got here earlier this morning. As our headline for this morning says here that the president asked me to speak to the press, and I did. Former militant leader Asai Dukombo um reaffirms his allegation of soldier being behind oil bunkering in Niger Delta. Former militant leader Asari Dukambu has once again raised serious allegations against members of the Nigerian military, accusing them of obstructing oil bunkering activities in the Niger Delta. Speaking to the press, Dukambu claims that soldiers rather than local ethnic groups such as the Igels and Ogonese are primarily behind the illegal operations. Since they, do, since they don't want us to keep secret, we won't keep it, the combo said in a recent live session. He claimed that President Bola Trimbu had asked him to speak to the press when he talked about the involvement of military personnel in oil theft for the first time. According to the combo, the military allegedly explored the local population by using them as inter intermediaries of these illegal activities giving them only a small share of the profit. Well, it is not the Ijaws, Oginis, or any other ethnic group behind the oil bunkering, but soldiers who use them, who use them and give them peanuts, he claimed. And that is all was said for you guys concerning this headline today this morning, who says here that the president asked me to speak to the press, and I did. Former militant leader Asai Dukambu reaffirms his allegation of soldiers being behind oil bunkering in Niger Delta. And well, of course, yes, you are for me this morning. And if you want to subscribe, the best you can do right here, right now, is to tap that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, leave a like on this video to get more updates concerning this in the next future to come. Well, I saw the combo. Is this stand on his um? He stand on his allegation saying that soldiers are behind oil theft and oil bunkering in Niger Delta region of Nigeria. Hmm. Well, who would tell me that doesn't know Asari Dukombu now? The man who comes online says one or two, bad, both bad and good. Yes. Well, this Asari Dukombu, a former militant leader I'm talking about, he raised another allegation again. But this time it is against the Nigerian military. He's accusing the Nigerian military of planning oil thefts and Oil bunkering activities in the Niger Delta. He's accusing the Niger the Nigerian military of stealing resources, stealing crude oil. Speaking to the press, like when he spoke to the press, the Kombu claimed that soldiers rather than local ethnic groups such as the Igels and the Ogunis are primarily uh, behind the illegal operations. Yes, yes. He said that it is not it is not I it's not the Igels who Yes, it's not Igels or the Oginis. It is the soldiers who are behind all this. Well, this is very, very shocking. That's why Tinibu says speak to the press. Because it is us that will spread the news and maybe the soldiers will stop. Because since they want to since they want us to keep it a secret, we won't since they, they want us to keep it a secret, we won't keep it. The couple said in a recent live session he had on Instagram. Said this is no more a secret though. That I go to expose every last one of them. Why is why are the soldiers um stealing crude right now? Why are they stealing or like seriously? Why? But the people that are supposed to be stopping all this and they're not even playing a good example to themselves. But uh, just look at it. They're the ones that were chasing criminals who say oil theft, this and that, this and that, but now they're the real thieves now. Mm-hmm. It come out said that the president asked him to speak with press when he talked about the involvement of military personnel in oil theft for the first time. He said the president asked him to speak with the press. And he said, yes, he did it. He did it. That's why it's calling our attention now. That he used this channel to pass this, the same information. It's calling your attention that you can to see what is happening now. Soldiers are now stealing our oil. Mm -hmm. He said the military exploits the local population by using them as intermediaries in these illegal activities, giving them a little small share of the profit. Wow. You see, they will talk and call civilians to come and help them, but they will give them a tiny share, little share of the profit. 
Well, we can now know that it is not the Ajo people or the Okini or any other ethnic group behind the oil theft in the country, but soldiers who them, like, but soldiers who used to give these Ajo and Okini people peanuts, but soldiers are the kept to protect those places. Well, it's very, very disappointing, believe me, if I ask me, very, very disappointing now. If, now, it's, it's like you're telling an oil thief that oil theft now is already legal in Nigeria. That, that, that's what the Nigerian uh, army are doing. It's like they're saying oil theft is, is already legal in Nigeria since they do it. Since they do it. Since they're, uh, since they're practicing it. Who will have hope now in the Nigerian soldier? Who, who, who will believe the words of a Nigerian soldier? Nobody. Tell me nobody. Well, not just the press, so I really think, uh, think um, I really think that think we should t- take better actions concerning this. Maybe call the chief of army staff into this, or call some major heads into this. Yes, call some major heads into this because this this is very serious. Like I said, this is very serious. Uh huh. All the guys think of because to me, I will not support armies just stealing oil like, up and down because first of all, it is harmful to the people around who are living even living around. It is very, very harmful. All the guys think, drop your own comment in the comment section. Don't forget to leave a like on this video. Then tap the subscribe button to be good on with the notification bell. So, anytime I have any video, you'll be the first to get notified about it. Once again, thank you for tuning in. I have a wonderful day out of you.